Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Torok and I am a Classicalia semi-finalist. Yes, so I was born in Hungary and my parents came out to Canada when I was about four years old and I started music education here when I was around six years old. How old was I when I started playing piano? I was six years old when I first started and I chose piano because my parents wanted to give me some type of mu music education, but I liked the piano most since it was the easiest to start with and I could all, all of a sudden make noise without having to learn how, uh, complicated techniques like string instruments or wood instruments. I think a recent uh, performance that really just um, changed how I view um, performances was this past November. I got to play a piano concerto here with all my friends at school uh, that make up the local conservatory orchestra. And this concert was originally scheduled for uh, right when the pandemic first hit. And it was canceled, I think, a total number of three times in the room. We kept rescheduling it. And so when it finally came around, with uh, no restrictions on audience capacity and uh, I was able to have a full house attend. Um, the joy of making music with all my friends and feeling that energy from the audience, I realized before I, you know, I, I, I took that for granted. I really did um, because up, up until then, the only performances I ever did were like we are now through Zoom. Um, and so finally being able to return to live performance after almost two and a half years, uh, it, it gave me a new appreciation. And uh, it really reminded me also why I do the things that I do, why I chose this career is because that feeling of, of sharing music with people, um, it can't be replaced by anything else, for me at least. Some of my hobbies when I'm not playing piano include uh, sports. So I liked uh, going outside for running. I like swimming. Um, I like volleyball and basketball, although I'm a, I'm a pianist, so I do have to be careful what I do with my hands. As a pianist, one of the most amazing instruments I've played on several times here is the, the, the German Steinway we have here in Kerner Hall at the Royal Conservatory of Music. And there's a really uh, special story behind that piano of how the, the team here at the Royal Conservatory ended up purchasing it. Um, it was one of the last pianos that they tried after several months of searching in a London showroom. And it was the last piano of the day that they played, about 20 Steinway concert grands. And when they played that final one after being exhausted, they instantly knew it was the one because it was so beautiful. And so they said, we would like to have this piano. And the owner of the, the Steinway showroom there in, 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 in London told them that you know, all the other pianos we've had have been here for months, and this one's been here for six days, and there are already three other professional concert artists that want it. And they said, but since you're opening up a new hall, it was the opening for Kerner Hall about 10 years ago, they said, if you really want it, you can have it. And so within 24 hours, the deal was done, and it was flown over here. It's one of the most gorgeous instruments I've played on, and so when I know the story of how they got it, it, uh, it makes me more appreciative every time I get to play it. So for my round two audition, I played Chopin's Polonaise Fantasy, Opus 61. And this is a piece I learned the previous year. And it certainly wasn't an easy piece for me to learn. Um, I would regard this as one of the top three hardest pieces ever written by Chopin. Um, I saw a lot of people play it in, in major competitions, like obviously the Chopin competition this past year. Um, and it was such an inspiring to see how other people approach this great work. Um, I was most proud that that recording I submitted was part of a uh, studio recording uh, recital. And uh, it was the final piece that I played. So it was sort of a, a reward to get to play that after about 40 minutes of other music. Um, I was really proud of the, the effects I was able to achieve and to play on such a beautiful piano. Um, a lot of that piece is very technical. So a lot of scales and a lot of thirds, I definitely had some trouble with, but I overall, I was very proud of the way it turned out. And that was my first um, complete performance of the piece, actually. It was for that uh, recorded recital. So I'm very glad how it turned out. <laughs> 